All right, welcome back to another episode. And today I'm gonna talk a little bit about some of the lessons I learned from flying on a private jet. I'm a marketing rebel, marketing rebel. All right, so flying on a private jet taught me a few things. It's been a goal of mine to fly on a PJ for a while now. It took me three years to finally pull the trigger. So here's what I realized. We all have a money muscle and it needs exercise. Now this muscle forms the decisions that we make about money from all the good and the toxic beliefs that we have bought into over the years, such as money grows on trees. So it's why we need to exercise and stretch this muscle if we want it to reach its full potential. And observing my kids was interesting on this flight. They normalized the experience way faster than Susan and I did. And I believe it's because they don't really have the years of toxic money beliefs that we've developed over time. And what's really interesting is what happened in our business. So I booked the flight in June for an October trip. And during that exact same time period, our company's revenue doubled. I was shocked. And as I started to reflect on how it happened, it really kind of hit me. This wasn't the first time it happened. This was actually the second time in two years this growth had happened. So it started when I decided this one core piece, lifestyle was greater than profit. Now don't get it twisted. Profit's super important and it drives companies, but it's just not the reason that I became an entrepreneur. I started my own business to support the lifestyle that I wanted, take trips, enjoy my family. And getting back to my roots two years ago was a pivotal moment for us, as the numbers tell. So going forward, are you exercising your money muscle and focusing on the lifestyle that you want? Because if you do this, the business will grow to support your goals. Plus, I could tell you for me going forward, we've normalized flying private for our family trips on the East Coast. West Coast, whole different story. I got a lot of stretching and exercise to do before those flights start happening. But although the seed is planted and the work will be done and the goal will be reached. So a bonus lesson that I discovered when sharing this with a few people. People wanna work with winners. So ignore the lazy doubters and keep winning. Because the more you win in life, the more people in your circle will quickly separate themselves into one of three buckets. Number one, people inspired by you. Number two, people encouraging you to do more. And number three, people scared and hating on you, right? And there's, but the third bucket can get really, really big the more you win, which is kind of odd. But the faster you can identify their, their bucket, the ones that they are in, the faster you can identify that, the better for you. So you can eliminate the threes, keep inspiring the ones, and stay close to those number twos. All right, hey, if you gain value from this video, do me a favor, like, comment, share. Let's get the word out and help others with these same lessons. Thank you.